The second season of Tales Told When the Windows Rattle is a particularly ghostly one. We'll visit a few haunted houses. As soon as the door closed on us, we were in utter darkness. But we had provided ourselves with candles and matches, and when we had lighted them, we entered the back parlor, which Mr. McN had heard from the different inhabitants was the room in which they had met with the most annoyance. The clairvoyant was then put to sleep and asked if she liked the house and would recommend us to take it. She shuddered and said no. Two people had been murdered there and we should be troubled. We'll also stop by a haunted theater. Still looking at us by way of the mirror, Mr. Caber replied, I'm most sorry, but uh, I am not a drinking man. I know there are taverns in the neighborhood, but I would not be able to tell you which one is preferable over the other. Exactly then, one of the electrical bulbs burst loudly. Its glass was spewed across the table and floor. I grabbed Vera's arm. Another bulb popped and Mr. Caber almost fell backward in his chair, as if a giant fist holding a giant hammer were sweeping across the room, the line of remaining bulbs exploded in rapid succession. The room plunged into darkness, though the hall light remained steady. The dashing actor's image slowly came into view as he walked toward us. Rather than appearing heroic, though, he was quivering. We'll walk along stretches of haunted railroad. Hardly had Harry resumed his seat when, all at once, the gas sank down as though it were going out, but next moment it was burning as brightly as before. An icy shiver ran through me from head to foot. I turned my head to glance at Harry, and as I did so, I saw, to my horror, that we were no longer alone. There had been but two of us, only a moment before. The door had not been opened, and yet now we were three. We'll listen to authors including Fitzjames O'Brien, Catherine Crow, Algernon Blackwood. Something was creeping slowly towards him along the floor. It was something dark and serpentine in shape, and it came from the place where the partition bulged. He stooped down to examine it with feelings of intense horror and repugnance, and he discovered that it was moving toward him from the other side of the wall. His eyes were fascinated, and for the moment he was unable to move. Silently, slowly, from side to side like a thick worm, it crawled forward into the room beneath his frightened eyes until, at length, he could stand it no longer and stretched out his arm to touch it. But at the instant of contact, he withdrew his hand with a suppressed scream. It was sluggish, and it was warm. And we'll have a special Christmas treat from Charles Dickens. God bless us, everyone. No, 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 no. It's not that story. It's not that story, Tim? No, Tim. It's a much scarier story. Welcome to Season 2 of Tales Told When the Windows Rattle. I'm Tim Prosser.